The Super Eagles of Nigeria defeated the Black Antelopes of Angola with individual brilliance and a large dose of Holy Ghost fire. How is it that they were so fortunate? Was it because Ozo did not man the Eagles goal? Uh -huh. Or was it because Angolans decided to motivate their team to victory with lots of money and gifts? Uh -huh. When Nigerians and Pastor Jimmy Odukoya were busy firing hot prayers. In this video, we will leave the moments of brilliance and moments of Holy Ghost fire. Do not go away. The Super Eagles played a slightly different formation this time around. A 3-4-2-1 formation, with Victor Osimen playing more of a lone striker. The Angolans, on the other hand, stuck to their offensive 4-3-3 formation, which they used to destroy Namibia. Gilberto still manning the right wing and giving Nigerians defenders a run for their money. This Angolan team were no underdogs or pushovers. Make no mistake about that. They match the Super Eagles fire with fire. A couple of times they had to take the Holy Ghost fire to quench their fire. Now, let's look at those Holy Ghost fire moments. Moment number one. In the third minute of the game, a flicked header from Gilberto met an unmarked Mabololo, but Mwabali reacted with instinct and anointing. This would have been the opening goal of the game, but it took the brilliance of Mwabali and the helping of the Holy Ghost fire to stop this from happening. Mwapali did not only keep a clean sheet that night, but went on to break a 44-year-old Afghan record, which will be revealed later on in this video. Holy Ghost moment number two. In the 58th minute, Angola almost had the equalizer, but Zinni's play shot was denied by the woodwork. And any shot that they shoot, back to sender. You see, God has brought us this far. And God no shame us, Baba. This was the ultimate Holy Ghost fire moment. Otherwise, the game would have changed drastically. Moment number three. Nigeria had few moments of defensive blunders, but they were lucky Angola could not capitalize on them. This made the last minutes of the game quite traumatic for Nigerian fans as the Super Eagles precariously sat back to soak in the pressure. Yes, I don't speak precarious grammar. Okay, I know you'll be saying, hold up, Nigeria had a good game too. Calm down, Chairman. Of course they did. As a matter of fact, many Super Eagles players stood out that night with their individual brilliance. They helped the team to secure the win. Who were these players and how did they do it? We'll answer these questions after the break. Don't want to miss this. Half time. Hello. Please take a moment to support our channel by liking this video. Also subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you always know when we post another video. Now, let's get back to the action. Welcome back. In no particular order, we'll review the moments of brilliance of some Super Eagles players, starting with the defenders. William Troost Echo. This guy was rock solid as the last line of defense, blocking every move, tidying up every slip and loose ends. It did not matter to him if it was his own side of the half or not. Just barely two minutes after the goal was scored, it was William Trus Ekong's leg that kept Estella shot from heading goalward. The skipper was cross with his midfielders. Just a minute, let's look at that play again. Notice the juicy through ball from Freddy to Estella. This was a common play by these guys. Remember this one, the one that led to the Holy Ghost moment. I can tell you for a fact, these were the best opponents the Eagles have played against so far. Our next Eagle is Calvin, the tank Bassey. He did not have much offensive play that day, but he made sure that any attacker that came near him jammed the Lumo Rock. Alex Iwobi. 
He was the silent performer. He did his job pairing with Onyeka to glue the midfield and make the crucial passes. Such was the crucial pass he made, changing the field of play that led to the assist. Which brings us to Moses Simon, the workaholic winger and goal maker. He was an effective two-way player for the Super Eagles against Angola. His individual brilliance made things difficult for the Palancas Negras. In the 41st minute, he gave joy to over 140 million people when he sliced through the Angolan defense to shoot a pass to Lukman, who blasted home the Eagles' only goal. And he eased the tension of a nation. Ademola Lukman, the goal scorer. Again, he failed to disappoint. The Atlanta goal poacher kept repeating the same feat for the Super Eagles increasing his Afcon goal tally to three. While defenders were venting their energy, marking out the star man Victor Simon, Lukman made them pay. The star man, Victor O. Simon, as usual, was the area of concentration for his opponent defenders. Yet they could not cage him. And in the 23rd minute, he showed them why he's the danger man. Good positioning by Signori. His threatening presence in the Angolan defense gave the fans the anticipation of a goal. And it came in the 72nd minute when he shot a bullet header from Lukman's cross into the net. The stadium erupted. The nation broke into ecstasy. I screamed at the top of my voice only for the goal to be cancelled. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm sorry. Once again, VAR denied Victor Osimhen. Speaking of denial, Stanley Mwabali was the man who denied the Angolan nation a second of celebration. His brilliant saves with a dose of Holy Ghost fire gave the Super Eagles another clean sheet, making it four in a row. Stanley Mwabali also broke a 44-year-old record for Super Eagles goalkeepers after keeping four clean sheets in a major tournament. The previous holders were Best Ogedembe in 1980 and Aloyago in 1990, after both keepers kept three clean sheets, respectively. And there you have it, friends. The Super Eagles showed dominance over the Palancas Negras with shots of players' brilliance at a large dose of Holy Ghost fire. It was not easy. How did you see the match? Let's rub minds in comments below. Thank you for watching. Please support our channel by liking this video. Also subscribe and turn on the notification button so you will know when we post another video. See you in the next video.